Yo, everybody, what's going on? It's your boy, the Loaf King. Welcome back to the Lunchbox. Today, we are playing Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah. I wanted to go ahead and progress in this game, and uh, I said to myself, you know, why not go ahead and stream it as well? Because this is part of um, the playthrough as well that's going on, so... I got to a point where in the game where I could like do some extra stuff. I just didn't know whether if I really wanted to go to the mine deep trouble. Look at all these things I could go and do. Also didn't discover this or this. A lot of these things I want to explore, but at the same time, I don't feel like I should rush to do it right now. I think I'm actually better off just following the story for now and seeing what happens. Like what I, if I get any extra like tools or abilities, and then I'll go ahead and um, start doing side missions. But uh. That's pretty much the main goal for today. I already did a couple of side missions. Um, well, you can actually see from right here what I've done so far. Oh, never mind. Maybe you can't. Is there a way to look at that? Does it seem like it? Hmm. Interesting. But just know that I've been doing a number of missions. Let's leave it at that. I've made some upgrades. It works. And I've gotten a little more of the, I got more of a hang up around um, using the controls. So that's another thing. I lost my health bus from helping the guy with the cooking. And I'm just doing terrible with shooting these raccoons, huh? All right, that's better. Rock. Huh? Uh, I think I want you. One, two, three, four. Uno, dos, tres. Good. Yeet. Sounds like someone's putting up a fight. Oh, man. Stay where you are. 
I'll handle the rest. We know how to deal with these. Well, what? Stop making this seem tougher than it actually is, Aloy. We got this. Trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid arrows. And turn into scrap, Aloy. Oh no, really? I didn't hit it. <laughs> no, I'm not hitting it at this point. It's about. It's probably gonna die before. Even well, no, it's not. Let me just try and hit it right now. There we go. Now it's done. We got another thing to fight, though. Ooh. Oh, out of all things, I get killed by that thing. I be forgetting I'm on hard, man. These things can easily kill me if I'm not being careful. Canisters on their backs. It should trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid arrows. Can I? Damn, man. Damn, dude, I... I... I, I what? <laughs> Am I hitting it? I got it good so easy the first time. Alright. Well, this is great. I kind of want to die now. Such a waste of ammo. I got that one. Man. Got it. Well, that, no, that one's gonna actually die. Good shit. Grab this stuff real quick. Got a call from Silver Springs. my best as usual well you did the hard part i just took care of the stragglers how bad is it uh, this uh, who needs ribs huh? <laughs> oh. oh i'm good i'm good huh. okay well i i know you didn't come all the way to the daunt just to watch me get wrecked so what's the story i need the embassy to happen so i can head west Errand, what I did at the spire, 
what we did. It didn't end the threat. It just slowed it down. There's still more to do. Really? <laughs> well, that's great. I, I mean, yeah, not the threat's not over part. That's not so great. But, but hey, what? Whatever you're up against, your spear, my hammer, just like old times. Erend, I need the embassy now. I can't wait for you to heal. A couple of days rest, if that. Actually, even if you weren't hurt, what I have to do, it's... It's better if I do it alone. Alone? <laughs> now that figures. Erend! I hate to interrupt the romance, but I'm pretty banged up here. I don't blow your blaze, I'm coming. Oh, this just keeps getting better. Huh. Listen, I'll go to Baron Light, get patched up. If you want this embassy to happen, we're gonna need this sun priest, Studius Wadis. Oh, I know him. I'll clear the Valley of Bristlebacks, then send Wadis to Baron Light. I'll catch up with you there. Well, I guess that's sort of like a goodbye. I'm sorry? You? Sorry? <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, that'd be a first. Where is this coming from? Hey, just, you know, forget it, yeah. Oh, it's nothing. It sounds like something. All right, fine. Now, after the Battle of the Spire, you, you took off. You left without so much as a handshake. I mean, people like me, we fought and bled at your side, Aloy. You just, or you just disappear? What kind of person does that? Aaron, I left when I did, how I did, for a reason. A good one. Oh, thanks for sharing. Listen to me. Life on Earth is in danger, and only I can save it. What are you talking about? Exactly what I just said. Everything living is going to die unless I... fix a piece of technology created by the Old Ones. And time's running out. Well, I... Yeah, I guess that's the reason, all right? <laughs> uh, I'm an idiot. Aaron! By the forge. Yeah, I guess that's my cue. Maybe I should go with you to Baron Light. No, no, hey, you you need it elsewhere, obviously. We'll make it without you. That doesn't sound good. You'll have to handle that one on your own. We'll only slow you down. Okay, can't go up there for some reason, so I'm just gonna go over here. Find this in my stash later. Metal bone. The heck? I think that's generally everything though all that i'm picking up at this point are just berries and i got a whole bunch of them in my stash don't know how that works but sure it'll be useful i did not mean to hit it before great I mean, fighting them is just going to give me experience, right? So that's the reason to fight them, right?
good. I need to save some of these acid arrows for when um, I go against the creatures that actually need it to be destroyed. Well, to be destroyed quicker. Am I heading in the right direction? Yeah, I am. What they gonna have me fight? I'm doing out here. Quick, gotta scrap him before the scroungers get him. Oh, that bristleback's charging right at them. Got it. Just get back to chain scrape before you get yourselves killed. Not with all this salvage lying about. Come on, crew. Back to it. Crazy. They're crazy. Green shine silver. Are those supposed to be like emeralds? Did some of them die? I think some of them. Oh, well, no, those aren't from the scavengers directly that died. Looks like the Osram decided to put up a fight. Yeah. That takes care of him. Now let's get this one. Uh, messed me up. Oh, don't run after me yet. Another one down. Stranger, come on over here. We gotta talk. One sec. I'm trying to gather all these leftover materials, man. You have an unused outfit modification. You use it to craft upgrades for weapons and blah, blah, blah. Gotcha. I didn't do that yet, did I? I haven't actually put, like... I haven't put in the put the um Can you even do it right now? Hold up. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh wait, I have to do it at a bench, don't I? Hold on. I'll test it right now. Edit coils. No, you can do the po the coils from here. But none of them are compatible. Are any of them compatible with the bow? Uh, there is nothing compatible for this. Okay. What about this one? Slot is still locked. Why is the slot not locked for um, the trip caster? Interesting. I barely even used it. Got a couple of these though. Alright, 
Let's talk. I don't know what Anora's doing out here, but consider yourself old. We tried to hold off and wait for the Vanguard, but one of them bristlebacks charged us. Next thing you know was a full-fledged fracas. Is everyone okay? We lost some good people. But we would have lost the whole quarry without you. Well, at least it's quiet now. Your ears ought to be ringing with a quarry at work. But Chain Scrape's whistle ain't blowing, so we're stuck picking up the pieces. You need the whistle to get back to work? Me and my crew were just little cogs out here. Can't lift a hammer till Olwen blows that thing. Cause if we work without his say-so, he'll ban us. And my people have been through enough. Olwen holds that much power? He's got the money and connections to snuff our fires for good. Almost feels like we stood a better chance with the bristlebacks. What are you and your crew working on? We're supposed to be working Olven's claim, digging out stone to show our barren light. But the work stoppage and the bristlebacks cut us short. Never seen those blasted things in a dawn before. Where in Forge Fire did they come from? I'm not sure. At least not yet. I need to get going. Stay safe. Thanks to you, that might actually be possible today. I think I've cleared out most of the bristlebacks. Chain scrape can get back to work now. I'll go give Olvent the good news. Vladis too. Then maybe this embassy can finally happen. I'm just wondering if I can do this. Campfires? Okay. Fast travel. It'd be faster to fast travel but maybe it's better if i walk there i might discover some stuff and on top of that i could gain some more material or even better get a ride But well, I was short. Time to get Olven to blow the whistle, then Wadis to bear light. This is part of chain scrape too. I guess I left from a different side. Oh. Go back in. can enjoy it come for that beer after all eh here sit down get a pint in her hand wasn't expecting you to swing by since when do I do what's expected <laughs> there's that spark fire and spit uh, fire and spit <laughs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Take your pick. We got bodies to bury from the bristlebacks, the work stoppage, Olvin grating the gears about his concession decree. Hey! Weapons off the table! Ah. 
Don't listen to me. Not than a cold brew and knocking some heads together can't fix eventually. So the bristlebacks in the daunt. <sighs> Where did they come from? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But bless the bellows, you cleared them out. Now Olven can't crank it to his advantage. He'll drag his feet on getting this place running again. But sooner or later, he'll have to blow that whistle. But how could Bristlebacks and the- No, there's Zooms. <laughs> Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where I'm just taking in the story from, while I can for now. Into blaming the um, Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike. Prob I'll probably in pop into Discord signs. in a bit. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. And people actually believe him? Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him <clears> half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. Ah, damn Karja slavers. They're having a drink, so I was like, mm, uh, maybe I'll take a drink too. I thought you'd be back in Free Heap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back, but realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's got to be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. Hmm. So about Olvind? Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. What the hell? Building barren light <laughs> would need stone and timber. <laughs> so he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is... All the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. Hmm. This concession decree, what is it exactly? And how would it help Olvind? It's pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osra municipality, so he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Figures if he keeps up the pressure, eventually the magistrate will sign. All right. Well, that's everything you have to tell us. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, flame hair. I wish now I have some regrets that with some of the side mission stories I didn't do in this game. Cause some of these characters I don't remember. And what is this? To Come to revel in some strike, sister. Let me set the board. I was just passing by. I mm, first timer, huh? Don't worry about it. I'll go easy on you. You got any pieces? Uh, no. Well, aren't you in luck then? I got an extra set, a Tanakh original, straight out of the Forbidden West. Sit, 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 sit. I'll run you through it in a hot spark. I'll give you something special if you win it on my boards, too. It's for treasure. Oh, boy. This is probably going to take a minute for me to understand. All right. Uh, uh, what's, what's... All right. Let's start off simple. The Tanakh like to say that Machine Strike is a game of pure strategy. We each get a set of pieces. Each piece represents a kind of machine, and each machine is worth a different number of victory points. 
And to win the game, you'll need to gain seven victory points by destroying the opponent's machines. Mm. It can be tricky remembering the details of every machine, so we use these notes to keep track of them. You see that number on the top right corner? Mm -hmm. That there is how many victory points you'll get for destroying that machine. Notes also tell you how far a piece can move, how powerful their attacks are, and how much health they have, the distance they can strike from, and of course, their health. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's just play. I'll explain the rest as we go. I own the board, so I get to choose who goes first. Since this is your first time, I'll let you go. Usually you get to choose which pieces to set on the board, but this will do for now. Pick up that machine piece to your right mm -hmm, and move it forward. Huh? Remember, each machine can only move a certain distance. Take a look at your notes if you need a can move too. Easy enough, huh? Now, you get to move two machines each round. So go ahead and pick a second machine. Perfect. There's not much else to do for now, so just end your turn. We're forging onwards. Let me move my pieces here. And we're back to you. This time, why don't you try attacking one of my pieces? Try with that machine on your right first. Now move the piece close. When performing an attack, you'll be testing your machine's combat power against the opponent's. A machine's combat power is a combination of the terrain your machine is standing on and its own attack power. This board only has grassland terrain, which has no effect on a machine's combat power and your current machine has two points of attack power. So in total, your machine's combat power equals two points. Since my machine isn't the one attacking, it has zero points of attack power. And just like your machine, it's not affected by grassland terrain. Mm. So right now, the difference in combat power between the two machines is two points. This means your machine can do two points of damage to my machine. Did you get all that? Yeah. So. Knew you were a smart one. Finish up by attacking my machine. Not pulling any punches, huh? Now grab that second machine of yours. See how your machine can't move close enough to attack mine? You can make your machine sprint. That lets it move one space further. Try it out. Can I do it? Oh, it wants me to attack this one. Downside to sprinting is that your machine can no longer attack. Now, some players like to take a risk and overcharge their machine in cases like this. Overcharging lets you attack after a sprint, but it will damage your machine's health by two points. So use at your own discretion. Let's try doing that now so you can see what I mean. Well, it would be bad to do that right now. That's about it for your turn then. Because now that can attack me and I'm going to just die. Now, I'll let you in on a neat trick. That machine of yours, the one closest to me, grab a hold of it. Same as in the wilds, machines have both armored points and weak points. You can see them marked on the pieces. Blue shows where their armor is thickest. Hit them there and you'll do some damage, but not a lot. Now, red shows the machine's weak points. Hit those and you'll deal a mighty blow. Here, let me show you. Rotate that piece so your machine faces mine. So rotate now it. let that machine have it. I didn't even realize it had arrows on it. Off the board she goes, and there's your first victory points. You don't have seven of them yet, so let's keep going. Your machine attacked mine, but hasn't moved yet. 
Go ahead and move downwards towards my remaining piece. You've already attacked a machine and moved your piece. But if you overcharge your machine, you can attack a second time. And by the look of your machine's health, you'd be sacrificing your piece to defeat mine. But sometimes, that can be a good thing. Overcharge your machine to attack mine a second time, and I'll show you what I mean. Ain't that a thrill? Now, because your machine was knocked out at the same time as mine, we both get the victory points our machines are worth. Good news is, since you're the one attacking, you're gonna receive your victory points before I do. Which means you can reach the coveted seven victory points first. That's why sometimes losing a piece can be the best way to end a game in your favor. Now, you'll notice you didn't get quite up to seven victory points this time, but you did destroy all my pieces. That means you're the winner. That wasn't so hard, was it? Just remember to always check for the best terrain to attack from. You'd be surprised the advantage you can gain over an opponent like that. I know it saved my behind in a game or two. I'll try and remember that. Oh, before I forget. These are all my spare pieces. I want the Savior of Meridian to have them. It's a small set to be sure, but it should be enough to get you in on any strike games you find out there. You might even fancy looking out for them strike carvers. They've got all kinds of unique pieces that can turn a game in your favor. Though they'll need the right materials to craft you one. Or you might find them in the wilds if you're lucky. I know I've lost my fair share of pieces after a <laughs> night of machine hunting or brew hopping. <sighs> no need to thank me. Always a pleasure to help out new strike players. <laughs> now, if you feel like playing a real game, I've got plenty of other boards. I could even teach you a few more tricks if you're up for it. Thanks. I'll think about it. You're one step closer to mastering the game of Machine Strike. Some more tutorials and stuff. I'll see you later, Aloy. That's cool. I'll mess around with that more later. Oh, he's right here. Back for that free meal. Go on, peruse my menu. Nice. How much does it cost? Boosts stamina regen for three minutes. Restores health seventy-five. Restores seventy-five percent health and seventy-five percent stamina. Uh, let's try this one. Wait, how much was it? Damn, I didn't get to see how much I paid. Meet in the middle. What the heck? <laughs> Am I? I'm heading towards him. There he is. Still here, I see. You and the Karja, blah, blah, blah. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. 
shouldn't take more than a day or two. <sighs> no. You blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay... Either you do it now, or I will. <laughs> ah, I knew you could do it! Friends, gather round. The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The Bristlebacks are defeated! You. What? Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business! Terrific. Yay. And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. <laughs> That's more like it! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah. I guess I do. <laughs> I'm so dead how she did that. Merchants are now available. You can purchase new equipment, restock your resources, and sell unneeded items at the merchants. Items in the, in the valuables to sell category are always safe to sell. There are many types of merchants. Stitchers sell new outfits. Yeah, this is the usual stuff. Well, the chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. I should see if they have anything useful before I send Wadis off to Baron Light. Better see what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. Brought out only the good stuff for you, Red. Seeing as you've got that whistle blowing. Hey, I've been waiting to get my lucky hammer fixed for days. You haven't done anything useful like getting rid of any bristlebacks, though, have you? Take your time. I promise you won't be disappointed. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Let's go ahead and uh, sell these valuables first. Uh huh. Key upgrade resources. Hmm. I mean, I appreciate you saving for me, but um, I'm looking at this stuff and a lot of it I either already have or yeah, you, you just don't really have anything I need. Hold on, hold on. Wait, I'm wrong. My bad. I was looking in the cell area. Here's where your stuff is. Gotcha. All right. Well, I would like uh, two bags. Can I set it up to buy two bags? Oops. Good. And I would like a weapon, a uh, fireball to be exact. Warrior bow. Having variety would be nice. Sharpshooter bow. Also nice. Uh, I will take this. And I'll take this. Come back anytime. Now can I get this fixed? I can fix your tools. Afraid there's no fixing you. <laughs> An emerald that deals fire damage is now available in your inventory. Use your focus, blah, blah, blah. Once in the state, set fire and take damage over time. Shoot blaze containers with fire arrows to detonate them and trigger a large elemental explosion. The usual. Uh, let's actually set that up real quick, though. Put there for now. Still can't edit the coils on these. Can't go to work with a 
Well, let's say I have to be done here. Doesn't look like it, but I can upgrade these things. Uh, let's start with the fire bow. Good. Charger circulator. We'll come across that eventually. Sharpshooter. We can do this one. Hey, all the way. Now I can use weapon coils. Need a bristle back tusk to upgrade this. So I guess, is it that you have to, when you upgrade, you unlock a new slot? Is that what it is? Langhorn antler. The opportunity comes up, I will do it. Pouch upgrades. Bomb satchel. Hunter arrow quiver. What about for the other? Precision arrow quiver. Uh, elemental arrows. Gotcha, gotcha. So I need to kill another raccoon before I can get that. Sharp shot bows are powerful, highly accurate, long range weapons. They have reduced accuracy when fired while moving and cannot be aimed while sliding. Remember, shoot elemental arrows to detonate canisters. Huh. Noted. So I can't do it while I'm. Um, Arrows. I think I've had too much to drink. Hold up. Oh, wait, no, that's just regular. Oh, no, 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 no. These are different. Okay. Don't you think I forgot? Get busy now, but we'll talk soon. So you got a lucky hammer. Precision error. Can't slide and use these at the same time. That's different from how it was before. Before you could do that. Now you can't. Okay. Uh, how's the arrows in general, though? I think precision arrows are still better. Everything. Savior, thank you for taking the time, and my condolences that you had to endure all of us bloviating. I've dealt with worse. That sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the Daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. What is this concession decree that Olvind wants? 
He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess, because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. How does blaming the Karja for the bristlebacks help Ulven get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience. Well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the mad Sun King. Even with the valley working again, Alvant hopes he can stir up enough resentment against the Karja to call for a strike. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Ulvan blasting hot air all the time? Ulvan's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. <sighs> well, I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, maybe Ulvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. Plan sounds pretty ideal. What was the quest or the side quest? Enduring. No. What level am I? How do I see that? I guess I'm seven. So I think I am. Want me to fast trap back over? Cannot fast travel invalid destination. There's nowhere. Oh, I see what it is. I never actually went and explored that area. The furthest back that I was was over here to this campfire. I never went all the way to the back. Well. Now the question is, do I want to travel over there or do I want to continue with the story? Think I'm going to be dumb and travel over there. I'll save first just in case. 
This is a bad idea. Or did I go back here? Hmm. I'm starting to wonder. It, was I doing a side mission that involved killing them and didn't realize that my first instance was supposed to be in that story cutscene because I think that's what happened. Could use shock ammo against that machine. Weak against shock. Sorry about that, y'all. I wanted to test that out. Smoke. Coming from where Arnav said I'd find his crew. <laughs> Raccoon, I need you. Later. That is not what I was looking for. Looks like the miners are in trouble. Bird. It was a pigeon. I should check in with him. You good? I, I'm okay. Thank you, Corvin. Corvin, Arnav sent me. I'm not, not now. Uh, uh, Easy. Whew. What happened? Explosion in the mine. Water flooded the whole place. I, some of my guys are still. They're still down there. I can't. Can't stop. You've done enough. Are you hurt? I'm. I live. The others. Please. I need to know exactly what happened. We use controlled blasts to open up new veins in the mountain. One of them must have gone wrong. I can't. I have to go. How many are still down there? Corvent, how many? Uh. Two. Two, I think. Two more. I'll do what I can. Deep trouble. Gotta find those. 
those two miners. Quick. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Oh, come on. Ooh, there's a chest there too. Am I swimming in the wrong place? That helps. One of them doesn't look too good. Better shake off this wet. I think I'm starting to see things. Is that a Nora? Are you okay? Who are you? Corvin sent me. Are you hurt? Uh, my leg. I. I was a little too close to the blast. What happened? We were blasting in the farthest tunnel, but the scaffolding didn't hold. It collapsed. I, I think it blocked the drainage shaft. Water started flooding the place as quick as I drink ale. I barely managed to drag us here. So something's keeping the water inside the tunnels. What are you thinking? I've got an idea. Are there more explosives? Are you crazy? Yeah. She'll still be some up top, but you'll need these fuses. Are you crazy? You can't move. <laughs> And I'm not leaving you. It's not like she can make things worse. Don't go anywhere. I need to find whatever's blocking that drainage shaft and blow it sky high. Hopefully. Not. Boost. Almost there. Uh. Made it. There's the debris blocking the shaft. If I can reach those explosives up on that track, maybe I can blast through the blockage. Hmm. Whoa. Hey, look, calm down. I know you can climb more stuff now, but you gotta chill of where you're climbing. Ladder. Okay. Burrowers. Of course. Maybe I can swim past unnoticed. Let's go.
Good. Heck is this? I'd rather not waste the ammo if we don't have to. Noted. We can do the stealth bombs, I know, but I chose to save my material. Oh, it was another one. I'll have to find a cauldron out here to learn how to override that. Come on. Turn around. Ah, I was close. Find a way out of this room. Should I release a cloud Interesting. I need to find a way up to those explosives. dive again None. We should follow those tracks. See if they lead to the explosives. Whoa. Some of these jumps, man. Pace. Stash this away for later. What's over here? Looks like this drops me back down. But what's back here? Another drop down. The explosives up on the track. Just need to get across somehow. Might be a good idea to drop that ladder. I can already see what I need to pull. Oh, come on, Aloy. <laughs> All right, running start. 
There we go. I guess it worked. That did the trick. Oh, guess that got its attention. Get your ass down here. Alright, no, 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 no. Remember you're on hard mode, Shep. Ciao. Man, finding the, the right time to shoot. Finding the right time to use the um the melee attacks. Sometimes a little rough you know i gotta i gotta get used to how f long it takes it to actually swing the attack out i went for heavies a lot too because i was thinking i could probably get them out quicker but nah like i, th I thought i could get them out um on them fast enough before um they can recover but i guess i gotta wait till they're like actually stunned Otherwise, there's no point. Not missing anything, right? Oh, hold on, hold on. I think I see something up there. I could use this. I know I can actually grab the crate, but it's just seeing if I can do that first. But cool. All right. There was nothing over here last time that we didn't get. And I fell down. Great job. But I got that. I guess that was a good payoff. I was meant to fall so I can get back up and try again. One might say I was dusting myself off to try again.
Okay. It's gotta have some blue on it, otherwise it ain't gonna let me do it. Can't just pull any chests. Alright, cool. I think we're good. She's so dead. We don't know that. Telling me, <laughs> you did it. I thought you blew yourself up. Are you two okay from here? I can get this idiot down. Don't you worry. Thanks, kid. Ah, <laughs> I'm sure you do. <laughs> if I saw, uh, <laughs> if I saw one that said "Screw you, Sean," I'd be uh, the same way. Found the two you mentioned. They're safe, but could probably use a hand. Is that everyone? <sighs> it is. I dread to think what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I knew we were blasting too much, but the man who staked the claim here, Ulvand, <sighs> he kept pushing and pushing me. I tried to shield my crew from his constant demands every damn day. I I should have been stronger. You were there for your crew when they needed you. That counts for something. Ulvan can threaten me all he wants. I am not letting my people back into those mines. Will you be all right? Yes. I can take it from here. You are owed, Huntress. Ulvan's name keeps coming up, and it's never good. Sooner or later, someone's gonna have to deal with him. Got yeah, more points we could put towards upgrading. Thank you, Huntress. I'll see the last two make it out. Thank you, Huntress. I'll see the last two make it out. All right, so we had another side quest. Search west of the quarry for bristlebacks. Yep, we're using up the campfires like this. I, I like how fast the travel is, though. I could try to find where the image was taken. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't too long of a wait in the first one, but this one, it's all, it's practically almost instant. What, like five seconds? It happens so fast that I don't even realize that I can hit the button to continue. Didn't expect to see you up and about. said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry. I should see if there's anything in the back of the valley. That's a squirrel. I need not a squirrel, but I need raccoons. Dead bristleback out of falls. Grab these while I'm at it. You know what? Let's go ahead and upgrade one of our skills. Survivor, infiltrator. Uh, I kind of want to. Uh, 
Forge Master. And what about Machine Master? That sounds actually really good, part breaker. Last override. Increase the amount of time the machine remains overridden. That could be really good. Machine damage, overridden machines deal more damage. Also can be good. I have only three points, so. Uh, I'll have regen toughened. Hmm. Low health defense. Uh, low health regen. Toughened. Is there one that gives you like more materials together? There's a whole bunch of trees to this. Where should I look to be finding this stuff? I love that the tree is so huge though. It's really cool. Well, we might as well do this. Now we have critical boost. Power by a special mode in your focus. Gain a greater chance at landing critical hits and increase critical damage. Yeah, let's equip it for now. I'm sure I'll find other stuff that I want to put on more eventually. Low health regen. I kind of like the low health defense because it gives me a chance to heal myself. Triple Shredder. Shredder Gauntlet. On three shredders of your currently selected type. Only one shredder can be caught and reused. Deplete medium. Okay. That's a odd one. Medicine capacity. That's a good one. I wouldn't mind doing that. Uh what is um each thing? Hunter is range master. Gotcha. Concentration regen. Press L2 to tap a concentration boost. Well. I think that could be real key. Especially since I'm going to be aiming to do more outlandish stuff like that. Long distance in general. We'll go with this for now. Yeah, I think that's a decent spread of the abilities that I'm doing right now. We are still level seven. You've equipped a Valor Surge. Valor Surge are extremely powerful rare abilities that can instantly turn the tide of a fight. Build up your Valor Surge bar and unleash this ultimate power. Each up Valor through tactical gameplay earn valor through tactical gameplay and when a segment of valor search bar is full activate the valor search by opening by opening the weapon wheel and tapping r1 unlock additional levels of valor search and skill tree to add segments to the valor search bar and gain extra effects That's simple as that, huh? It's not there yet, but okay. I see how it works. Strange. 
Parts of it have been tampered with. Almost like an override. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little confused on what else I could do here, but we found some green silver. This might get us killed. Let's go back up. Try again. Oh, nah. This is not meant to be done right now. It's not. It's not. Go back. Go back. Hurry, Aloy. Hurry, Aloy. Aloy. No, stop. So what what do you they want me to do here? Search the west for the quarry bristlebacks. Crab discovered. Can I not grab it? Grab him and hold him? I guess not. No grab him and hold him.
Okay. Let's see where this leads. Interesting mushrooms. stash when I need it. Bristlebacks. So they did come through here. They must have gotten trapped. I'm gonna have to take them out before I can look around. Not a problem. Or at least it shouldn't be. You should be done. Yep. Where's your brother? Over there. Come on. There we go. What? Get down here. Ah, oh boy. There we go. Now you're done. Okay. Better take a look at where the smoke's coming from. Uh, here we go. Oh, I have enough to do, um, Vala search. Really is. There's a blaze here to blast a mountain open. And there's a note on one of the barrels. So it's addressed to Olven. Looks like this mine was supposed to be shut down. Olven must have gotten greedy. Kept blasting deeper into the mountain. I should let Javad know what I found. It's tempting to shoot that. But I think it's kind of safe to say we'll probably die if we do that. So all of them was secretly blasting in the mine. Trying to squeeze it for all it's worth. Until Bristleback stampede through. Can't get through there. I can make it. A dead bristleback down there? The cart tracks must have given way under it.
Yes, sir. Now we can fast travel back. Oh, there's a campfire we apparently missed over here. Oh, we missed it for a reason, though. It wasn't really actually visible. Because we didn't explore over there. We only got to this area. Well, we all... Actually, I don't think we did here. Where did we go help... Um. Aaron, we had to have gone like around here, right? I don't even know anymore. Either way, we're going to fast travel. Hope I find that thing that lets you fast travel for free. It's like a legendary sleeping bag or something. Well, I don't even know if they even have that in this one. They had it in the first one, but... Who knows if they have it in this one. They might have taken that away. Savior, what news do you bring? Picked up the Bristleback Trail by the quarry. Looks like they stampeded out of a mine at the back of the valley. The mine? How could a herd of Bristlebacks come from there? I'm not sure, but Alvin's workers were using explosives to tap the tunnels inside. For the love of Dawn, I told him it wasn't worth the risk. Those tunnels, they run for miles underground, even beyond the daunt. No, you don't think... That Olvin's blasting opened up a passage from the other side? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. If this is true, we need confirmation. An inquiry. So thorough, so irrefutable, endorsed by the savior. All right, I'll keep looking. I need to go. Of course. If I'm going to find out where the bristlebacks came from, I need to head further west. Another reason to get the embassy going? Okay. Cool. And now we can do story and then we'll probably end it there. The way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when said. I cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay. Banged up, but breathing. And waiting up ahead for you. But, but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Lightbodies. Like Aloy said, Captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. right keep walking well now that that's done the embassy can finally get underway if i can get through it i'll be able to track down silence hades <sighs> maybe even a guy back up i guess i could head straight for baron light or we'll poke around the don't some more first I know one thing that we need, should do. See what you have. Osram Explorer. Uh -huh. Strong against uh, acid. And then this one is for ice. Nora Huntress. Ah, original. Like both of them. I'll buy them for a high price. Yes. Let's go with uh, 
This one, we're just buying it. Relax. And this one. And we're going to sell some valuables yet again. Uh, bam, 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 bam. So. Cool. And that should be it. You don't have nothing for me to buy, right? Oh, the warriors bow. Forgot about that. Ah, uh, I don't know if it's really. Isn't that literally? Uh, yeah, I, I'm not really with it. I'm not really with the warrior bows. Let's uh, rock the Osiram for now. Of course, that means we need more pieces. We can't upgrade this to the max until we get a Fanghorn Antler. Uh, don't have everything for that. What about for this? We need a Fanghorn Antler for this as well. Crazy. Nice. 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 All right. Can we put um armor? I mean, not armor. A uh, coil on uh, the outfit. Probably already do it with this. No, actually, we can't. Slots locked. This one says slot locked as well. Almost there. Uh, put this on though. It's good for all three. It says lightning and point and acid. This one does damage and impact, but um, clearly it seems like this one's better for combat with the spear. And this one has more versatile with the lightning and the acid. Almost ready to go. I've heard of your adventures. It's cool all the same. How come I don't have this? Nora Legacy Spear. Damage 100. Charge speed 100. Oh, okay. Isn't that what I'm using right now, though? What am I using right now? Champion Spear? 100, 100, 100. 100. 130. 100, 175. 125. Okay. And what's this one again? Champion Spear, 175, and this one is, they look almost exactly the same to me. Call me crazy. 100, 100, 100. 100, 100, 100. 130, 100. 130, 100, yeah. I guess the other one's just if I want a Nora Spear. Don't get me wrong. I don't mind mixing it up, but it's not a high necessity. What is a necessity, though, for me, is to be able to buy some sleeping bags.
Uh, did we already sell? Yeah, we did. We can finally make the hunter bow get to its max. Let's do it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Slot. Sharp shot is already at its max. Interesting. Uh. I think I can wait on these. Hey, let me hold off for a little bit on that. Now, I can't put coils on any of these. Well, no, that's a lie. The hunter bow, right? Yep, we can put some finally. Uh, let's go with the the tear. Uh, we could fast travel to. Maybe it's better we don't fast travel. Then we could get a mount. Been going for a while though. Definitely gonna need to edit this when I get the chance. What the heck? There's another mission here nearby. You know what? No. I'll come back for it. Let's go ahead and see what the conclusion of most of this is. I could get around faster if I find a charger to override. Yes, we can. That's what we're going to do. Relax. Look, if you want to come over and be taken over, I am 100% fine with that. Otherwise, I wanted to take this one over here. Relax. A little wild riding on this thing. Lighted meat. Interesting. Pick up stuff while you're on it still. I love that. I love these 
that some of these features aren't gone. Like you don't have to learn them again. This pegment would work well on armor. I think I could customize the color of my armor now. Hunting grounds. Again, an area I will explore later. We're looking to go ahead and move forward. in charge here first i could resupply at my stash might be worth taking a look around too Sister! i mean we're pretty good on our stash aren't we how's the resources looking looks pretty good to me Yeah, I'm good. will do that to you right <laughs> because that's what pissed in your forge <laughs> gentlemen uh, that's our cue <sighs> taking the edge off oh well, the end of the world's coming i don't be sober for it now let me guess you're in a rush, right? So whatever you need, ask away. How have things been since I... Your silent departure? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Helped Avad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury Ursa in the claim. But when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Vadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> a couple more of these, maybe I'll believe you. I was, um, wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Uh, yeah, 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 we did. Uh, just seen the crowd that showed up to pay their respects. <laughs> half of them owed her a favor, and the other half. Yeah, they have photo of their lives. In the end, everybody drank. You know, that's the rowdiest funeral since, uh, well, since ever. <laughs> Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight. Damn straight. <laughs> she would have put them all under the table. What do you know about the embassy? I know, not much. Only that Avad really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these Tanakh. But from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of their talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things might get ugly real fast. I'll keep that in mind. <clears throat> what do you know about this place? Well, nothing good. It's where the Karja dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. Lucky ones became slave labor. The rest were hauled off to the Sun Ring and Meridian. Your sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the Karja out of the West. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Osram to rebuild it. And no matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be stained in blood. Thank you. 
I better get going. Right, you know, I have to do complicated Aloy things. Maybe just don't disappear completely this time. No promises. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is, if you ever do need me... I know where to find you. Yeah. Hopefully sober next time. Not done counting it. Be careful out there, Aloy. Lighten up, Paiv. You've got a thick wall of stone between you and the Tanakh up there. Yes, sir. Why the long face, Mavas? Wish you were heading out there. No, sir. 